In recent years we witnessed remarkable advancement in AI, and specifically in natural language understanding, which are driven by large language models. Today there are various different LLMs out there, such as GPT-4, Lama-3, Quen, Mixtral, and many more. In this video we review a recent paper titled Mixture of Agents Enhances Large Language Model Capabilities, which presents a new method called Mixture of Agents where LLMs can collaborate together as a team and harness the collective expertise of different LLMs. So, instead of using a single LLM to get a response, we can get a response that is powered by multiple LLMs. Using this method, the researchers were able to achieve state-of-the-art performance on Alpaca Eval 2 and surpass GPT-40 by a significant margin. To understand how the mixture of agents method work, we use the following figure from the paper. Mixture of agents is combined from multiple layers. On the left we have an input prompt, which is first being fed into the first MOA layer. Each layer has multiple LLMs. In this example we have three LLMs, each marked with the capital A. A11 for the first LLM in the first layer, A12 for the second LLM in the first layer, and so it goes. Each LLM got the input prompt and yields a response. The responses from the LLMs in the first layer, together with the input prompt, are passed to the second layer. The second layer also has three LLMs, which can either be the same LLMs from layer 1 or other LLMs. The second layer then operates in a similar manner to the first and pass results to the third layer, which in this example also has three LLMs. Then the results reach the final layer, and we can see that there is only one LLM in this case. The LLM then gets the input prompt and additional responses gathered along the way from previous layers, and determines the final output. This method is inspired by the mixture of expert method, but here the experts being used are not parts of the same model, but rather are full-fledged LLMs. The way that the last LLM determines on the final output is using a special prompt, which the researchers call Aggregate and Synthesize Prompt, which introduce intermediate responses already provided by LLMs and ask the model to evaluate them and come up with a final response. Before moving on, if you're getting value from this content then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button to help this channel grow. We also send 1 minute read summaries by mail about the papers we review here. You may find the link to join in the description of this video. Let's now move on to see some of the results presented in the paper. We start with showing that previous responses from other models can help to improve performance. We see the win rate on Alpaca Eval 2 for few models without using responses from other models in blue, and with responses from other models in red. The chart clearly shows that the models achieve higher win rate when considering responses from other models, while for some of them the gap is more significant than others. For example, we can see a large improvement for Quen, but barely see a difference for Wizard. Another table from the paper shows comparison between top models to few MOA versions on Alpaca Eval 2 and Empty Bench. We see that on Alpaca Eval 2, the MOA version that does not include GPT-40 surpasses it by 8 points. This version is using Quen 1.5 110 billion params chat as the final model. And on Empty Bench we can see that MOA does not win GPT-4 but is able to improve it with the MOA version that includes GPT-40 as the final model in the MOA pipeline. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more reviews of AI papers.